One of the things that's really important for us to get used to doing when we're working in the Linux environment is the ability to write simple shell scripts. Now, simple shell scripts are something that every system administrator has to write, and there are lots of different things you can do with shell scripts. In this particular example, I'm going to walk you through some of the very basic things you can do working in the bash shell. And by doing this, you're going to have just a very, very minute starting point to understanding some of the capabilities and powers of the shell. So let's get started. To begin with, what I'm going to do is I am going to write probably the simplest shell script we could start with. So I'm going to call this start.sh. Why? Because this is where we start. You start at the very beginning. So this here, I'm going to write this as the entry here for the shell script. And what I'm going to do is basically this top line, excuse me, top line says this is going to be a bash shell script. And what I'm going to do is the proverbial hello CS3840 students. I couldn't use Word. It's been used too many times. And I'm going to write this out. What the echo command does is it echoes out to the console what has been typed on the line it follows. So if I take a look and try to run this, dot slash start dot sh, like so, hello CS3840 students. We can see that the shell is able to or the shell has ran, the script has ran, and put that output onto the console. Okay, so that is a very, very, very basic, basic, basic shell script at work. Now, the question is, what can we do that is a little bit more advanced than that? Maybe what we want to do is actually get some input from a user. So I have a shell here that is called input example of all things. So let's take a look at what this example is. Input example.sh. And again, you see this top line here sets up what is the, the, or the shell that is going to run this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo what is your first name. And I'm going to read in the first name like so. Whoops. I want to put that there, I want to put that there. What is your last name? I'm going to echo it out. And then I'm going to echo hello, dollar sign first name, dollar sign last name. This syntax here, or the, the dollar sign, basically causes us to reference the value that is stored in that variable, not that text. So first name becomes a variable when we read into it. Last name is a variable. Here we dereference the value that is inside of that variable. So that is all set to go. I can then take and run this script here, dot slash input example dot sh. What is your first name? William. Last name is Smith. Hello, William Smith. So that is all set and allows us now to basically get inputs into our examples. Now, inputs can be very useful for doing um, in programs. Maybe we want to do something that's a little bit more complex. Maybe what I'd like to do is maybe do some math. So I have an example here that is going to show us a little bit of math at work, as well as a conditional logic piece, this odd even example. So let's take a look at what this does. Odd even.sh. I'm going to enter in a number with the read. I'm calculating the remainder. This dollar sign with these um, two parentheses on each end manipulates or causes this to actually execute the mathematics of this. The number that we just entered in, mod 2. The operator there is a modulus. And then what we're going to do is we're going to test, is this value remainder equal to 0? 
If it is, then we're going to echo even number, else odd number. This if then phi, like so, basically is one of the ways we can do an if conditional statement inside of a shell script. So this I can take and run. And as I run this, what we'll see is enter a number, five, odd number. Enter a number, 256, even number. Now, what I haven't shown you in any of these scripts is really how to do comments. Now, comments are pretty straightforward. If I want to put a comment in here, it's going to start with the pound key, the hash mark. And what this will say is something along the lines of this script will print out if the value entered is even or odd, like so. Enter a number. So basically, we're going to start read a number from the user, calculate the remainder when the number is divided by 2, determine if the remainder is 0 or not 0, and print appropriate output. So I have just now gone through and commented this, and you'll see that if I run this shell script, uh, 784, it's still an even number. So I can start to put comments into my scripts. Now the thing about shell scripting is remember these are scripts. They do not need to go through a compiler. These are not necessarily strongly typed or anything. This is a scripting language for the Bash shell that gives us, again, tremendous power to control our particular systems. Okay, so maybe I want to do something that is a little bit more interesting. Maybe I'd like to have multiple parameters passed in on my command line. That is this last example of a script that I have here. I'm going to call this add. Now that may sound like a generic script. Let's see what it does. So add.sh Basically, here we're going to say starts by setting the sum to zero. What we're going to start doing is this shift command, shift the command arguments one item to the left. So if we think about it as we do this, the arguments, this dollar sign, um, a dollar sign ampersand that we have right here. This is a list of the arguments that are passed in on the command lines. I'm going to shift that one to the left, and arg is going to basically take on that value. It's, it's essentially, as we would think about in a Java or other language, a for each type construct. So, comment wise, for each of the arguments that is passed in, what we're going to do is add the value of the argument to the sum, like so. And when all is said and done, print out the sum of all numbers passed in. So I can do that. If I write this out, what I can do, let's say I'm going to dot slash add 1 and 2. The sum is 2, ah, because it shifted too far. So maybe I don't need this shift. Hmm, let's see. How can I test this? I can comment this out. So there we go. The sum is 3. I didn't need that command to shift it out. So we can see here, this is not actually an argument that's being passed in like it is in other higher level languages. Always pays attention to help with some of these things. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, three, four, so ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sum is 210. I can keep going on and on and on, doing whatever I want to do. And again, we will iterate over each of these arguments. So this is just giving you very, very, very basic concepts of how to start doing some shell scripting in the Bash environment. By mastering and learning how to do this, now you have a lot of control over the shell and the environment to do very, very powerful and useful things. That's going to bring this video here to a conclusion.